Hi subscribers, what's up? It's me, Vivs from SlideNote here. In this video, which is our second video on abstract classes, I'm going to talk about how and why we should use abstract classes. In the previous video, we started discussing about these abstract classes and you guys had a question saying why do we need something like this. Now let's take a look at that in this video with the help of a nice example. Let's say there is a guy who has come to you. He owns four shops and he wants you to write software that lets him manage all the four shops. For simplicity, let's assume that all he wants to do is to calculate the profits from each shop every month. He owns a grocery store, a stationery shop and some other two types of shops. So the question to you is this, are you guys gonna write four different softwares for cal working with four shops or are you going to write a single piece of software that works with all the four shops? So the, let, the basic operation that you want to do, let's assume, is to calculate the profit from all the four shops. Let's take a look at that. What you do is you write an abstract class called shop and you write a method calculate profit which is abstract. Now this calculate profit would obviously add all the items that the shop has, what is their purchase value and how many items were sold and what is their selling value and then it would somehow calculate the profit between them. Let's not get into the details of the calculate profit method. Rather, let's focus on how each shop is going to work with this. So the first shop is going to extend this class shop over here. It's going to write calculate profit. It has to override that because remember this is an abstract class and when you extend an abstract class, you are supposed to give a definition to the method which is defined by the abstract class as abstract. So shop 2 also does the same thing. Extend abstract class, shop 3 repeats, shop 4 does the same thing. So what is the basic idea? Take a look at how uniform they are. Calculate profit is the same method name used in all the four shops. Rather, what changes is how the profits are calculated. Shop 1 may be selling groceries. There, the way of calculating profit depend on the price of vegetables and other items. Shop 2 may be selling stationery. There, the profit depends on the items that are being sold like books or papers or whatever other stuff the shop has. Shop 3 and Shop 4 the same way have their own ways. Now the whole idea behind making the shop as abstract was to give a uniform approach by having the same method calculate profit being implemented in different ways in a slightly different way at all the other shops. Now shop acts as the super class for everyone and a calculate profit method is kind of like a way of identifying what is common among all the shops. Now does this, if you guys have seen the polymorphism videos on my playlist, you know very well that this looks damn similar to the polymorphism stuff that we talked about and yes it is. Abstract classes are just another way of showing polymorphism in Java. So, do you guys understand polymorphism now? You have some problem. You want to do it multiple times, but what changes each time is some small aspect of that problem and that is when you use abstract classes. So, going on further, let's go to a NetBeans and take a look at the code of how we can work with abstract classes and try to get these things into the picture together. In the meantime, if you guys do like what you saw, please like this video, share this video, Subscribe to Slide Nerd and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below. Thanks for watching. I'll get you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.